Inequalities is to actually test some numbers into the inequality and to see whether it's true or not. Don't get yourself into an autopilot mode where you're just rushing to get to an answer, but you actually haven't verified or tested that those answers actually make the original inequality true. Okay, so if we go right back to the um, inequality that we're actually dealing with, then here's my quadratic. This is my square minus 16 must be greater than or equal to 0. From the other page, we saw that the solutions are between negative 4 and 4. So it must be greater than 4, smaller than negative 4. So what I'm saying is that the log of... Actually, I've written this in the wrong place because I need two sets of solutions. I'm running out of space. So let's just take this as the log of k must be smaller than negative 4 or the log of base 3 must be greater than 4. All right. And now we've landed up with a log inequality. Okay. Again, anything that contains, or any equation or expression that contains an inequality has to be treated very carefully because you cannot produce equivalent uh, expressions by either squaring or taking the log on either side. So you've got to be very careful with inequalities. All right, so how would we solve this log inequality? Okay, we may compare logs. So we would take the, sorry, lost some space here. So that would be negative 4. The log of 3 base 3 would give you 1. So this would be log of k base 3 is smaller than the log of 3 to the power of negative 4 would be 1 over 81. You may only compare same log on either side, same base on either side. Okay. And we've got an OR set, so we've got another set on the side. So the log of base 3 is greater than 4 log of 3 base 3. So log of 81 base 3. Okay, once we've got to this step, we are saying that if the exponent on the left is smaller than the exponent on the right, that must mean that the result obey exactly the same comparison, that k must then be smaller than 1 over 81. Why? Because my bases are the same. I cannot compare if I have different bases. If my base was smaller than 1, then my inequality would actually change. Right, so I've got k can be smaller than 1 over 81, and on this side I would get k can be bigger than 81. Again, it's an increasing function, so um, I can get k smaller than or k bigger than. My inequality doesn't reverse. Remember, only if it was a base that's smaller than 1 will the inequality actually reverse. Okay, so what looked like a very simple uh, delta expression actually has taken us through four different sections of work. So there's an integration question, um, and the application is quite... Um, quite deep. So uh, in future, do not be afraid of tackling uh, these kind of questions. Just try as, as much as you can. Okay, right. Um, and then the other question I have is another log question. If log 5 is equal to 0, 7, what would the log of 5 base 2 equal to? And the reason I'm doing this question is because Mags earlier did this law, the change of base law, um, which basically says that that equals log 5 over log 2. And that's fantastic because we have log 5. It was given as 0, 7. But a number of people will get stuck with log 2. What do I do with log 2? I don't know what log 2 is. Well, 2, you should always try and write in powers of the base that's given. And the base is 10. So I'm actually given that 2 is 10 divided by 5, indirectly. 
I've written it as a quotient. Okay, so that would give me um, 0, 0,7 divided by this log 10 over log 5. And now we know what log 10 base 10 is, it's just 1. So that's really equal to 0, 0,7 over or divided by that, which means times by log 5 over log 10. So that's just 0, 0,7 squared. Okay, so I really just wanted to help you out with what is that log 2 equal to. It's actually log of 10 over 5. So try and write them as um, powers of tens, hundreds, thousands, etc. in the same base that you were given. Okay, right, well that has been a fantastic show all about logs and log laws and exponents. Um, a big question in the exam, it's roughly about 30 marks or so, so it's good to just delve into it and really get to the bottom of it. We hope that you've enjoyed the show. Please call again tomorrow. We'll be waiting to help you out. Thank you for joining us and good night.